we had our first uh, test, live test of the VF2. We recorded uh, the whole game and we live streamed it and it worked out really well at this uh, showcase. You start by opening your VO app and connecting to your camera. Then you confirm that you have an internet connection and you click record and live stream. Then you select the pitch size. In the event it doesn't detect it, it'll let you know. And in this case, you drag these markers to the far and the near corner. Our first game, it found it. The second one, it didn't. Then you select your team. And as you can see, my wife is texting me as I'm setting this up, asking me if I'm going to live stream. You can scroll through the list of teams, or you can type in a team name to search for the team that you're going to live stream. Then you type in the name of your opposing team. And once again, my wife is texting me about making sure I live stream. Now you click the start live stream button and the stream begins. After about a minute and a half, everyone that's following the team in the VO Live app will get a notification the game has begun and they can click the notification to watch the stream. If you don't have the VO Live app installed, we'll show you how to set it up here. You go to the app store and look for VO Live. You download the app, and once it's installed, you open it up. You'll have to either register or sign in. We already have an account, so we'll go ahead and sign in. At the bottom are some of the streams we've already watched, and at the top is the current game. If you tap on the watch button, it will spin for a minute, and then it will open up the game. You can watch the live stream. As you can see, it has controls for jumping forwards and backwards and pausing and dragging the slider. Um, after about five seconds of not touching the screen, the controls will fade away, and then you can watch the game. Here you can see it following the ball. It, the stream is about like a minute and a half to two minutes behind the live game. Um, but as you can see here, it's streaming it um, pretty well, and it's following the ball. And now my wife is happy and watching the game from Arizona. If you want to invite others to watch your live stream, you tap on this icon and it will bring up the option to email or text a link. And here you can see the invitation and the link to the live stream. Once the game is over, you tap stop recording and it will prompt you, do you want to stop recording? Tap stop recording again. And at that point, it's going to stop both the recording on the hard drive and also the live stream itself. Now it's going to prompt you for a name that you want to use to save the recording. So you type in a name. Now you can tap on the three dot menu in the top right. It will show you a recordings option. Tap there and then it will show you the recorded game. You can also go to the settings to look at disk space, battery life and camera temperature. You don't need the SIM card in order to record games, but if you want to live stream, then you are going to need internet connectivity. And it's pretty simple. Um, it has, you know, you just follow the diagram. There, I heard it click. And now it's, it's flush. So now it's in. So we're out at the field about to do a live stream at the VO2. And as you can see here on this light, if both of those lights are lit, those double lights, uh, what, what it seems to mean that you are getting your internet connection. Uh, so typically if you just have one light on, that means the camera's on ready, and then you hit record and that one light will flash. Um, if you have your SIM card in, and then you turn it on and you see both of those lights lit up, that I believe means that you have your good internet connection. And once you, if you start live streaming, then both of those lights are gonna flash. So what we did is use the SIM card from our hotspot in the camera. So basically, um, just right, you know, right there is where the SIM card goes. I'm going to be spending a monthly fee for the um, SIM card, but I'm only using it like on the weekends. I'll be using it for live streaming. On the weekdays, when we don't have games, I won't really need it. So you can take it out of here and put it in your hotspot. So here's a video of the live stream that we recorded earlier today. Um, now I'm casting it to our TV in our hotel room. 
So then from your app, you, from your li via live app, you can pause it, or you can play it, or you can mute it, or unmute it. But you can also drag this at the bottom to a different spot in the game. This, so we're basically casting it from the via live app to the t hotel TV, and we're using Chromecast. Uh, we already have it plugged into power down there, but this is the Google Chromecast, and it has a HDMI plug. So you basically plug it in here. Uh, there's an app called the Google Home app that you put on your phone that lets you talk to your Chromecast, and you just kind of hook it up to the to the Wi-Fi. So the Chromecast is hooked up. You open up Via Live, and then you pick a game and you tap on it here. And then on the top right here, there's a icon that you can click. And, it's, and then, you can't really see, right? there you go. Hotel TV, that's the Chromecast I set up. And now, looks like it's starting to go, there you go. And now it's on the TV. Takes a second, and it starts. Overall, our first weekend live streaming with the VO camera was a success. One of the things that we learned was that if you have the SIM card in the camera, it will actually start uploading your recordings for you, which can be a good thing if you're, say, in a hotel and you don't have a way to upload them. However, the VO2 has a lot more storage space. So if you're only recording, say, three games, you may want to conserve your bandwidth and not upload them from your hotel. Wait till you get home and upload them from there. So just keep that in mind. If you have the SIM card in the camera, then the games may upload and use up some of your data. If you have questions about the VO Camera 2 or the VO Camera 1, if you'd like to rent a camera, if you'd like a user guide, if you like an event recorded, if you want to sell a used camera, you can send us an email or you can give us a call and we can chat about your soccer recording needs. We made this video for teams that rent our cameras or that use our VO Rookie Guide. If you need to rent a camera for a weekend or a week or a season, or if you could use a guide for your team, um, you can check us out on easysportsvideo.com slash start. Um, we also have a place where you can buy and sell used cameras. We have a guide for teams that want to record um, games in their area, in their city. We have a gear shop where you can find accessories for your camera. And we also um, can help you get a discount if you're going to buy a new camera. And we also have more videos like these on our YouTube channel. Look forward to helping you with your soccer video needs. Thanks.